Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance 2002R in the red wine colorway from the Suede Pack. So this is one of four colorways from the 2002R Suede Pack designed by Flying Asparagus. Uh, that's the same designer behind the uh, very successful Refined Future Pack. All four colorways in my opinion are really fire, but uh, the one colorway I really wanted was this red wine colorway. Uh, I don't have too many uh, New Balances that are in this shade of red wine or Bordeaux, as Shoe Palace calls it, and uh, I already have enough uh, green and blue New Balances, and I feel like that black fig colorway is very similar to my RC1300 antlers, so uh, I am satisfied with this one colorway from that four pack. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, technology, quality, and design of the shoe. Starting with the box, the 2002R in the red wine colorway comes in the standard gray New Balance lifestyle box. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mudguard of the shoe is made out of red wine suede, the middle of the toe box is made out of red wine mesh, and surrounding the toe box are panels of nubuck also in a red wine color. At the top of the toe box, there's a small hit of 3M reflective material with an N logo embroidered on in red wine, and also at the bottom of the toe box, there's also another smaller panel of 3M reflective materials. Moving towards the side of the shoe, you get more panels of red wine suede, more panels of of red wine mesh, as well as the New Balance M logo in a 3M reflective material on top of white leather. The lace eyelets of the shoes are also made out of red wine suede, and the top lace eyelets are made out of a TPU plastic in a lighter red color. Moving towards the back of the shoe, you get more panels of red wine mesh, more panels of red wine suede, as well as a small panel of red wine nubuck with 2002R branding printed on in silver. Moving on towards the very back of the shoe, at the top, you get a panel of white leather, you get more panels of red wine suede, and in the middle you get a small panel of red wine chenille with the New Balance NB logo embroidered on in white. The shoes come with one set of flat off-white laces. Those laces weave on top of a tongue that's made out of red wine mesh, and at the top of the tongue you get a big panel of red wine suede, and in the very middle of the top of the tongue you get some red wine chenille with the NB logo embroidered on in white, similar to that of the back of the heel. The medial side of the shoe is the same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of color and materials. The ankle lining and the back of the tongue are made out of red wine textile material. Moving on towards the insoles of the shoes, the shoes come with a standard foam insole with a cream white textile lining with the New Balance running branding printed on in red wine. The midsole of the shoe utilizes New Balance's proprietary Absorb, Absorb SP and energy cushioning technologies and is mostly in a cream white color with the gel in a light gray color. And finally, moving on towards the outsole of the shoe, the shoes come in the standard 2002R outsole with light gray rubbers as well as some off-white accents. So now that the overview of the shoe is out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, the New Balance 2002R in the red wine colorway from the suede pack fits like every other 2002R, and I'd say it's safe to go down half a size if you have regular or narrow width feet. The 2002R in my opinion has a slightly wider toe box, and I have pretty standard width feet, so I go down to a size 9 from my true size 9.5, but if you have wider width feet, I'd recommend sticking true to size. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. As for comfort, for my 3 factor rating for the 2002R, I give it a 6 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. That score is on par with the 990 V3 and V4. In my opinion, the 2002R gives the user an excellent ratio of cushioning and firmness as well as a very supportive midsole shape. The 2002R is one of the most 
most comfortable New Balance shoes on the market right now. And it's really impressive because the 2002R is an Asian made shoe and it is on par with some of New Balance's best made in America models. As for quality, despite this being Asian made, the quality really impressed me. The suede used on it felt great in hand, very soft. Uh, the Nubucks especially really impressed me. I didn't expect Nubuck on an Asian made New Balance pair to be that good, but the Nubucks they used for this pack was excellent. They felt really soft in hand. Uh, the meshes felt good quality in hand. Uh, the reflective materials felt good in hand as well. And the chenille, although minimally used, also felt pretty good in the tongue and the back of the shoe. Overall, a good quality shoe from New Balance. And from a craftsmanship perspective, I had absolutely no problems on my end whatsoever. Overall, I'm really impressed with New Balance and Flying Asparagus's work on this shoe. Uh, like I said, I like all four colorways from the suede pack, but this was the only colorway I really needed to have, and I'm glad I have it in my collection now. Really happy to have copped these for retail from Shoe Palace. Uh, I ordered these yesterday, and they arrived today, so very fast shipping from them, which was awesome. So overall, I'm really satisfied with my pickup. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.